In this video, I'm going to show you how to differentiate inverse trigonometric functions, the tan inverse, the sine inverse, and the cosine inverse. Okay? Now, let's start with the sine inverse. I have y equal to the sine inverse of x. What is dy dx? Give it that y equal to sine inverse of x. If y is equal to the sine inverse of x, if I take the sine of both sides, that is sine y equal to sine the sine inverse of x. I am taking the sine of both sides now so as to eliminate this sine inverse. You get it? So I'm now having sine y equal to what? x. So the first thing was to do away with the inverse trigonometric function by taking the sine of both sides. So this is what we have. Now I am going to differentiate y with respect to x now. That is dy dx. So differentiate y with respect to x. So if I differentiate sine y with respect to x, I'm going to obtain cos y dy dx remember differentiate the sine function to obtain the cosine function all right which is equal to differentiate x with respect to x that will be one that's one ds 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 is equal to one so i'm going to make dy dx the subject of the formula so dy dx will be equal to one all over cos y that is, we divide both sides by cos y to obtain this. Now, this is not all. This is not all. Remember, from trigonometry, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. That means cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So to make cos x the subject of the formula, I will take the square root of both sides. Cos s will be equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared x. So for cos y, since we are dealing with y, cos y is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. So in place of cos y, I'm going to write one, the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. So dy dx is equal to 1 upon the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. Now, what is sine squared y? We can actually get sine squared y. Remember, sine y is equal to x. That means if I take the square of both sides, I'll be having... From here, sine squared y is equal to s squared. If I square sine y, I will square s. Sine squared y is equal to s squared. So in place of sine squared y here, I'm going to write what? x squared. So therefore, dy dx is equal to 1 upon the square root of what? 1 minus, in place of sine squared y now, I'm writing x squared. So this gives the derivative of the sine inverse of x. Let us consider number 2, y equal to cos, the cos inverse of x. y equal to the cos inverse of x. What is dy dx? What is the derivative of the co cosine inverse of x with respect to x? In similar fashion, if I take the cosine of both sides, Okay, so as to eliminate this cosine inverse, I'm going to obtain cos y equal to x. That is it. So that if I take the cosine inverse of both sides from here, I'm going to obtain y equal to the cosine inverse of x. So from here now, I will differentiate y with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x, which is dy dx, differentiate cos y. That will be minus sine y dy dx. Remember, 
if you differentiate the sine function, okay, we are going to obtain the cosine function. But if we differentiate the cosine function, we will obtain the negative sine function. And that's what we have here. And this is equal to differentiate x with respect to x, that is 1. 1 ds ds, which is equal to 1. So we'll make dy dx the subject of the formula. So dy dx is equal to 1 upon minus sine y, which I can write as minus 1 all over sine y. Alright? Initially, I said sine squared x plus cos squared s is equal to 1. This is a trigonometric identity. I want to make uh, sine x the subject of the formula. Sine x to be equal to the square root of 1 minus cos squared x. Alright? So, if I'm dealing with y, then I have sine y equal to the square root of 1 minus cos squared y. So, in place of sine y, I'm going to put this down. So, dy dx is equal to minus 1 upon the square root of 1 minus cos squared y. But, cos squared y has an equivalent. Remember, cos y is equal to what? x. So, just the same way we squared both sides of this equation here to obtain sine squared y equal to s squared. If we square this, the two sides of this equation, okay, this very equation, we are going to obtain cos squared y equal to what? x squared. That means cos squared y is x squared. So finally, dy ds is equal to negative 1 upon the square root of 1 minus s squared. This is dy ds of the cosine inverse of x. The derivative of y with respect to x of this particular function. Now, let's see the last one. The derivative of the tan inverse of x. Y equal to tan inverse of x. So, if we take the tangent of both sides to eliminate the tan inverse, it means that tan y is equal to x. We are going to differentiate this with respect to x. Alright? Now, take note. If you differentiate the tangent function, we are going to obtain the second squared function. Second squared. That's x squared x or y, as the case may be. So if we differentiate tan y with respect to x, we are going to obtain sec squared y dy dx. All right? And if we differentiate x with respect to x, we are going to obtain 1. So let's make dy dx the subject of the formula. So this implies that dy dx is equal to 1 upon this sec squared y. Now, what is sec squared y? That is the next question. What is the equivalent of sec squared y here? Remember the trigonometric identity that says that sec squared x, let me use x, is equal to tan squared x plus 1. Okay, so if I'm using y, sec squared y is equal to tan squared y plus 1. That is to say, sec squared y is equal to what? Tan squared y plus 1. So in place of sec squared y, I'm going to write this down. So we have that dy dx is equal to 1 upon tan squared y plus 1. Tan squared y plus 1. The next question is, what is the equivalent of tan squared y in terms of x? Because we are looking for dy dx. Okay? Recall, tan y is equal to what? x. So if I square both sides, because we are having tan squared y here. So if I square both sides, it implies that tan squared y is equal to x squared. 
So in place of cos squared y, I'm going to write x squared. Finally, dy dx will be equal to what? 1 all over s squared plus 1 or 1 plus s squared. Okay, s squared plus 1. Which is the same thing as saying 1 over 1 plus what? s squared. So this is the derivative of the tangent inverse of x with respect to x. This is it. Just keep following, keep watching, like this video and share it to your friends and your classmates.